Let's build a stem and leaf plot. The question says, suppose you gather data on how long it took you to get ready in the morning. For 40 days, you measured the amount of time between when your alarm went off and when you left the house. The results are below, rounded to the nearest minute. And we want to build a stem and leaf plot for this. For a stem and leaf plot, we divide each value into its stem and its leaf. And the stems are generally the tens place, although you can tweak this and make it, for instance, the ones place. But in this case, since our values are two digit values, the first digit will represent the stem and the second digit will represent the leaf. So if you look through, you'll notice that all these numbers start with either one, two, or three. That's the, the first digit. So our stems could be one, two, or three. And now we'll go through and for each value, we'll place that leaf in the correct category. So the first value is 35. So we'll put a five under the leaves category in the third row. Then for 28, we'll put an eight here. Then 25, we'll put a five here. Then 23 and so on. We'll put another three. Then 32 means we'll put a two in the third column. Then 29, 19, 21, 13, and so on. And I won't go through and fill all these out in detail. I'll go through and show the final result in just a moment. Now what you often find with a stem and leaf plot is that we write the leaves in the order of their value, rather the order in which they appear in the data set. So instead of writing eight, five, three, three, nine, one, we would write the one first and then the threes and the fives and so on. Now this takes some extra work because we have to do some sorting, but when I show the results in a second, it'll be shown in that way with them sorted by value. Now that we have all the stems and leaves written, notice how it looks. It looks almost like a histogram or a bar chart turned sideways, where the length of each string of leaves represents the frequency of that category. So it divides it into categories by tens, and we can see that the most frequent category is the range from 20 minutes to 29 minutes. And yet, unlike a normal grouped frequency, by grouping them, we haven't lost any information. We could reconstruct the entire data set from this stem and leaf plot if we had to.